the best pictures happen during unexpected moments. You don't know when history is going to unfold. It was either 64 or 65. Went to D.C. with my parents and my older sister. I remember two things about that visit. One, as we were walking around outside the White House, this black limousine went by and the back window went down and Lady Bird Johnson waved at us out the window. The other thing I remember about that trip, we got this book called The Living White House, which was a paperback book put out by the National Geographic Society and it showed pictures of all the rooms in the White House. I wore that book out. It's actually still at my mom's house. And it also showed some candid pictures of President Johnson. I probably didn't think that much about the significance of that until later years. Yoshi Okamoto, whose nickname was Oki, was LBJ's official White House photographer. He was really the first person to truly document a presidency, be in every meeting, be in the private residence with the family. He set the bar so high that I think everybody's been trying to match the coverage that he did. I didn't have complete access during the Reagan administration. I didn't know him coming in. I wasn't his chief photographer. I mean, it was a different time. It was the 80s, and they would completely fabricate the scene. They'd set up lights. They'd ask Reagan to do this, but they'd make it look real. That's just the way things were. I wanted to get the kind of access that Okamoto had, I'd be there all the time show what he was like as a human being, which is why I never took a vacation the first five years. People say, oh, it was a historic presidency. Well, so is every presidency. I guess the difference is that I was aware of the occasional symbolism of it. I'm the most impatient person in the world but when it comes to waiting for a picture, I think I'm the most patient person in the world. There are some days where it was like watching paint dry. But then, you know, when you least expect it, something happens. 6-7, Sandy Hook School. Sandy Hook School caller is indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. John Brennan, who was then the Homeland Security Advisor, came in to report that 26 people had been killed, including 20 young kids. You're trying to frame the picture at the same time you're trying to take in what's taking place. They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own. This evening, Michelle and I will do what I know every parent in America will do. Which is hug our children a little tighter, and we'll tell them that we love them. Later that afternoon, he was going to go get Michelle in the private residence. So I went up in the elevator with him to the private residence, and Malia was standing in the hallway. She had just gotten home from school. He latched onto her, and he just wouldn't let her go. I'm watching everything that he's receiving. I probably know his mood better than anybody because of that. I want to give him space, but do my job. We fly up to Newtown, and he's having to console all these families. The Wheeler family, their son Ben was shot and killed. Their older son, Nate, was at the same school, and he hid in a closet, going from room to room, seeing these families. I'm not using a motor drive or a flash. I'm trying to be as stealthy as I can. I don't want to 
interfere with their moment, but I also want to try to capture it for history. When he had finished meeting with all the families, he retreated to that room. Unless I sort of sense that he wants to talk to me, I won't say anything. A speech was already written for that night, but he wanted to incorporate what the families had said to him into his remarks. I think some of the pictures I made of President Obama show the way he interacted with other people from all walks of life. Just how he respected everyone. That sort of flows into this idea of always being there because they like just show these interactions that you could never get if you weren't always tagging along with him. Just these sort of little moments show you what he was like as a person.